Numbers chapter 33. Here are the stages in the journey of the Israelites when they came out of Egypt by divisions under the leadership of Moses and Aaron. At the Lord's command, Moses recorded the stages in their journey. This is their journey by stages. The Israelites set out from Ramesses on the fifteenth day of the first month, the day after the Passover. They marched out defiantly in full view of all the Egyptians, who were burying all their firstborn, whom the Lord had struck down among them, for the Lord had brought judgment on their gods. The Israelites left Ramesses and camped in Sukkoth. They left Sukkoth and camped in Etham, on the edge of the desert. They left Etham, turned back to pi Haharoth to the east of Baal-Zephon, and camped near Migdal. They left pi Haharoth and passed through the sea into the desert, and when they had traveled for three days in the desert of Etham, they camped at Marah. They left Marah and went to Elim, where there were twelve springs and seventy palm trees, and they camped there. They left Elim and camped by the Red Sea. They left the Red Sea and camped in the desert of Sin. They left the desert of Sin and camped at Dovah. They left Dovah and camped at Alush. They left Alush and camped at Rephidim, where there was no water for the people to drink. They left Rephidim and camped in the desert of Sinai. They left the desert of Sinai and camped at Kibroth Hattava. They left Kibroth Hattava and camped at Hazaroth. They left Hazaroth and camped at Rithmon. They left Rithmon and camped at Rimon Perez. They left Rimon Perez and camped at Libna. They left Libna and camped at Risa. They left Risa and camped at Kehelath. They left Kehelatha and camped at Mount Shefer. They left Mount Shefer and camped at Harada. They left Harada and camped at Makaloth. They left Makaloth and camped at Tahath. They left Tahath and camped at Terah. They left Terah and camped at Mitka. They left Mitka and camped at Hashmona. They left Hashmona and camped at Mazara. They left Mazara and camped at Ben Jakan. They left Ben Jakan and camped at Hor Hagidigad. They left Hor Hagidigad and camped at Jatbatha. They left Jatbatha and camped at Abrona. They left Abrona and camped at Ezion Gibi. They left Ezion Giver and camped at Kadesh in the desert of Zin. They left Kadesh and camped at Mount Hor on the border of Edom. At the Lord's command, Aaron the priest went up Mount Hor, where he died on the first day of the fifth month of the fortieth year after the Israelites came out of Egypt. Aaron was a hundred twenty-three years old when he died on Mount Hor. The Canaanite king of Arad, who lived in the Negev of Canaan, heard that the Israelites were coming. They left Mount Hor and camped at Zalmon. They left Zalmona and camped at Hunan. They left Hunan and camped at Oboth. They left Oboth and camped at Lai Abarim, on the border of Moab. They left Lai Abarim and camped at Dibon Gad. They left Dibon Gad and camped at Alman Dib. They left Alman Diblathane and camped in the mountains of Abarim near Nebo. They left the mountains of Abarim and camped on the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. There, on the plains of Moab, they camped along the Jordan, from Beth Jeshema to Abel Shittim. On the plains of Moab, by the Jordan across from Jericho, the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, When you cross the Jordan into Canaan, drive out all the inhabitants of the land before you. Destroy all their carved images and their cast idols, and demolish all their high places. Take possession of the land and settle in it, for I have given you the land to possess. Distribute the land by lot, according to your clans. To a larger group give a larger inheritance, and to a smaller group a smaller one. Whatever falls to them by lot will be theirs. Distribute it according to your ancestral tribes. But if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land, those you allow to remain will become barbs in your eyes and thorns in your sides. They will give you trouble in the land where you will live, and then I will do to you what I plan to do to them. Numbers chapter 34 The Lord said to Moses, Command the Israelites and say to them, When you enter Canaan, the land that will be allotted to you as inheritance is to have these boundaries. 
Your southern side will include some of the Desert of Sin along the border of Edom. Your southern boundary will start at the east from the southern end of the Dead Sea, cross south of Scorpion Pass, continue on to Zin, and go south of Kadesh Barnea. Then it will go to Hazar Adar and move to Asmon, where it will turn, join the Wadi of Egypt, and end at the Mediterranean Sea. Your western boundary will be the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. This will be your boundary on the west. For your northern boundary, run a line from the Mediterranean Sea to Mount Hor, and from Mount Hor to Libo Hamam. Then the boundary will go to Zedan, continue to Zephron, and end in Hazar Anan. This will be your boundary on the north. For your eastern boundary, run a line from Hazar Anan to Shepham. The boundary will go down from Shepham to Ribla on the east side of Ain, and continue along the slopes east of the Sea of Galilee. Then the boundary will go down along the Jordan and end at the Dead Sea. This will be your land, with its boundaries on every side. Moses commanded the Israelites, Assign this land by lot as an inheritance. The Lord has ordered that it be given to the nine and a half tribes, because the families of the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance. These two and a half tribes have received their inheritance east of the Jordan across from Jericho, toward the sunrise. The Lord said to Moses, These are the names of the men who are to assign the land for you as an inheritance, Eleazar the priest and Joshua son of Nun, and appoint one leader from each tribe to help assign the land. These are their names, Caleb son of Jephunneh, from the tribe of Judah, Shemuel son of Amihu, from the tribe of Simeon, Elidad, son of Kislan, from the tribe of Benjamin, Buki, son of Jogli, and the leader from the tribe of Dan, the leader from the tribe of Manasseh, son of Joseph, Kemuel, son of Shiftan, the leader from the tribe of Ephraim, son of Joseph, Elizapan, son of Parna, the leader from the tribe of Zebulun, Paltiel, son of Azan, the leader from the tribe of Issachar, Ahihud, son of Shalomi, the leader from the tribe of Asher, son of Amihu, the leader from the tribe of Naphtali. These are the men the Lord commanded to assign the inheritance to the Israelites in the land of Canaan. Numbers, chapter 35. On the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho, the Lord said to Moses, Command the Israelites to give the Levites towns to live in from the inheritance the Israelites will possess and give them pasture lands around the towns. Then they will have towns to live in and pasture lands for the cattle they own and all their other animals. The pasture lands around the towns that you give the Levites will extend a thousand cubits from the town wall. Outside the town measure two thousand cubits on the east side, two thousand on the south side, two thousand on the west, and two thousand on the north, with the town in the center. They will have this area as pasture land for the towns. Six of the towns you give the Levites will be cities of refuge, to which a person who has killed someone may flee. In addition, give them forty-two other towns. In all, you must give the Levites forty-eight towns, together with their pasture lands. The towns you give the Levites from the land the Israelites possess are to be given in proportion to the inheritance of each tribe. Take many towns from a tribe that has many, but few from one that has few. Then the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, When you cross the Jordan into Canaan, select some towns to be your cities of refuge, to which a person who has killed someone accidentally may flee. They will be places of refuge from the avenger, so that anyone accused of murder may not die before they stand trial before the assembly. These six towns you give will be your cities of refuge. Give three on this side of the Jordan and three in Canaan as cities of refuge. These six towns will be a place of refuge for Israelites and for foreigners residing among them, so that anyone who has killed another accidentally can flee there. If anyone strikes someone a fatal blow with an iron object, that person is a murderer. The murderer is to be put to death. Or, if anyone is holding a stone and strikes someone a fatal blow with it, that person is a murderer. The murderer is to be put to death. Or if anyone is holding a wooden object and strikes someone a fatal blow with it, that person is a murderer. The murderer is to be put to death. The avenger of blood shall put the murderer to death. 
When the Avenger comes upon the murderer, the Avenger shall put the murderer to death. If anyone with malice aforethought shoves another or throws something at them intentionally so that they die, or if out of enmity one person hits another with their fist, the other dies, that person is to be put to death. That person is a murderer. The Avenger of Blood shall put the murderer to death when they meet. But if without enmity someone suddenly pushes another or throws something at them unintentionally, or, without seeing them, drops on them a stone heavy enough to kill them and they die, then since that other person was not an enemy and no harm was intended, the assembly must judge between the accused and the avenger of blood according to these regulations. The assembly must protect the one accused of murder from the avenger of blood and send the accused back to the city of refuge to which they fled. The accused must stay there until the death of the high priest who was anointed with the holy oil. But if the accused ever goes outside the limits of the city of refuge to which they fled, and the avenger of blood finds them outside the city, the avenger of blood may kill the accused without being guilty of murder. The accused must stay in the city of refuge until the death of the high priest. Only after the death of the high priest may they return to their own property. This is to have the force of law for you throughout the generations to come, wherever you live. Anyone who kills a person is to be put to death as a murderer only on the testimony of witnesses, but no one is to be put to death on the testimony of only one witness. Do not accept a ransom for the life of a murderer who deserves to die. They are to be put to death. Do not accept a ransom for anyone who has fled to a city of refuge and so allow them to go back and live on their own land before the death of the high priest. Do not pollute the land where you are. Bloodshed pollutes the land. An atonement cannot be made for the land on which blood has been shed, except by the blood of the one who shed it. Do not defile the land where you live and where I dwell, for I, the Lord, will dwell among the Israelites.